exactly what happened was that the Ghana Premier League remains suspended after a court hearing on the injunction case between Ashanti Gold and the Ghana Football Association. The lawyers of Ashanti Gold spoke to the press after the case was adjourned to 20th October. Many believe the league may not return before the World Cup and thereby disrupting the schedule of the Ghana Premier League. Exactly what happened was that um, Ash Gold Sporting Club filed an injunction to uh, restrain the playing of the Bet Power Premier League for the 2022-2023 season. And uh, um, the GFA actually responded to the uh, motion for the interlocutory injunction. Um, after they have responded, they raised issues which we addressed in another court process, usually called the supplementary affidavit in support of Ash Gold's application for injunction. So in the courtroom today, after announcing ourselves and when counsel for the Ash Gold, that is myself, uh, got ready to move the motion for the order to restrain the GFA from proceeding to play the Bed Power Premier League. Lawyer for the GFA, uh, my learned friend, raised a preliminary objection to the filing of the supplementary affidavit of Ash Gould. And so she actually made an argument to the court that the supplementary affidavit Ash Gould filed in support of the order for the interlocutory injunction should have been filed with leave of the court. And uh, the truth of the matter is that when Ash Gold was responding, they failed to respond by bringing the leave, all right, before filing the supplementary. Then the court actually listened to her arguments and we were asked to respond. And we also responded by letting the court know that there is an irregularity with her reason of the preliminary legal objection of or to our supplementary affidavit what is the irregularity so we argued in court that any objector to any court process okay by way of what we call preliminary legal objection ought first to give notice to the other party Secondly, must give reasons, okay, to the objection. And then thirdly, such notice ought to be given to the other party at least three days before the hearing of the motion. And so we argue that her failure to bring us notice, all right, of her preliminary legal objection to our supplementary affidavit by itself is irregular and the court ought not to lessen or countenance her preliminary legal objection. After that, the court gave its ruling, and the court ruled that, indeed, Ash Gold ought to have come to court for leave before filing the supplementary affidavit, and their failure to do so renders that process irregular, and same was struck out or set aside. Now, the court further also ruled that the preliminary legal objection counsel for GFA also raised is also irregular to the extent that she also failed to give to Ash Gold or counsel for the Ash Gold notice of the preliminary legal objection and the reasons why you know she is raising that. And for that matter. The preliminary objection was declared irregular and the supplementary affidavit in support of the motion for injunction was also rendered irregular by the what by the court then we 
are of the considered opinion and brought to the court's attention that the facts or the content of the supplementary affidavit uh, are germane, you know, to our case. And uh, it provides material facts that this court ought to look at and to ensure substantive justice, you know, over what we call procedural law, we urged the court to grant us the opportunity to come properly with the leave to file the supplementary affidavit in support of the motion for interlocutory injunction. A counsel for GFA okay, forcefully opposed that prayer, saying that you know the GFA is losing at this moment. And uh, for that matter, the court ought not to grant us that leave to file the supplementary affidavit. But eventually, the court ordered that by 17th October, which I believe is coming Monday, we should have filed the motion for leave to file our supplementary affidavit and then also return back to court on the 20th of October, which is coming Thursday, to move the said motion for the leave to file our supplementary affidavit and then the case will take its normal course. So hopefully next week, Thursday, if the court is satisfied that leave should be granted, then the court would grant us that leave and we will go and file the supplementary pursuant to the leave, serve lawyers for GFA and then they also have a right to respond to the content if they so wish after which we come back to the court and now deal with the motion for interlocutory injunction itself and the court would have to exercise its discretion one way or the other in a grant or a refusal and that will bring that aspect of the case to an end but the substantive case will continue till it is determined on its merits as expected in the judicial system.